Mama sleep in the beginning. Many guns that woman don't go to my pitch of the day. I see sleep that when you see my pitch that's in the middle. That's what you watch it. Being inside a Kenyan matatu is a whole vibe. <laughs> the loud music, colorful graffiti, big screens characterize the modern matatu culture in Nairobi. In this video, we are going to explore the matatu, sometimes referred to as uh, the manyanga or the matwana culture in Nairobi. So stick around, friends. <laughs> Matatu is the cheapest means of transport in Nairobi. Uh, a large number of residents here depend on this kind of transport to commute from one part of the city to the other. Uh, the word Matatu came from a Swahili word Tatu, meaning number three. Uh, in the 1970s, the fare uh, for such kind of transport was three cents. So those <laughs> manambas, or in the last time we call them uh, wapigadebe, uh, were shouting tatu, tatu, tatu to call passengers, hence the name matatu. It's like in Dal Islam, uh, the word daladala dala came from dala, a Swahili slang for five cents, which was the fare by then. I found Kenyan Matatu very, very interesting. <laughs> it's like you are inside a music club. The loud music of all genres such as hip hop, Afrobeats, reggae are mostly played inside matatus so you will be enjoying throughout your journey if you are a music lover <laughs> Not all matatus have blast music and a colorful graffiti. <laughs> Some of them, and I can say most of them, are just normal matatus. But if you want to experience the crazy ones with the loud music and the several TV screens, look for the ones called Manyanga or Matwana. Uh, most of them can be found on routes heading to uh, Ongata Rangai, Ongata Rongai, I'm sorry, uh, Umoja. Embasava or Embas Hanova or Kasarani Ngong Kiambu and Kitengela. Inside Kenya and Matatu friends and uh, beside me is my beautiful sister who is the driver of this Matatu as you can see. So I'm really very impressed with the Kenya and Matatu, the graffiti, the music. The 
wanna see you for nani after the dog Do you know some Nairobian matatu have internet access or Wi-Fi? <laughs> I was shocked. Uh, if your daughter has finished and you are stuck somewhere in traffic and you want to peruse or not, just ask the conductor who will gladly give you the password. If you don't have cash with you and you want to use matatu worry not uh, you can pay via your mobile money or mpesa this really really impressed me and uh, your phone or gadgets need to be charged then don't worry you are sorted uh, some matatus have power sockets <laughs> this is incredible <laughs> As a Tanzanian <laughs> inside Kenya ni matatu, I felt like I'm in Dar es Salaam. Tanzanian music is mostly played in matatus and I was so so happy about that. <laughs> But I felt like Kenya ni matatu or public transport in general uh, is a bit expensive. For example, I was going to uh, Ongata Rongai and I paid 100. Um, and also I was going to East Lee from downtown and I paid 70. And it's not far. Uh, downtown to East Lee is not far. But I paid 70, which is a bit pricey and the price is not fixed <laughs> it changes according to time rush hours it increases something i found strange coming from the rest of where the dollar prices are fixed <laughs> The other thing I found strange is that the matatus have no specific terminals uh, to to park. They just park everywhere uh, at the CBD, which is sometimes difficult for a visitor like me to know where to get a matatu going to a specific place. In addition to that, they don't have signage or different colors to represent their routes. So you have to confirm first uh, before entering where you are going. All in all, I found Kenyan Matatu very funny and I enjoyed my experience. Uh, if you get time to visit Nairobi, friend, try these amazing experiences. You will thank me later. Wadau, asanteni kwa kuangalia video hii. Kama bado uje subscribe, basi naomba wezi kusubscribe ili wezi kusupport channel hii. Karibu tuizunguke dunia pamoja. Asanteni na kwaerini kutokea katikati ya jiji hili la Nairobi.